Citations are an important part of academic work. While they can be annoying to create and use, they are necessary and play an important role in research. In this video, you will learn what citations are and how to use them. You may find citations annoying, but there's something that you already do. Anytime you tell someone, I read it here, or I heard it from so-and-so, you're showing where you got your information. Citations are how you show you are using information created or shared by someone else. We cite information for many reasons. First, we want to give credit to the other authors and creators whose work we are using. Your research and work is building off of their hard work. Next, it creates credibility and shows that you did the work. When you cite something, you're telling your audience that you have looked at the information that is out there and are adding to the scholarly conversation. It tells your audience that they can trust you. Finally, it helps you to avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you, intentionally or not, pass off someone else's work as your own. This can include directly copying text or simply rewording someone else's work. When you include a citation, you're showing where you found your information and are showing that it is not your original work. When do we use citations? All the time. It is important to provide a citation whenever you use work that you have not created. That includes any time you quote, paraphrase, or summarize information from a source. It also includes any time you use someone else's data, facts, charts, and graphs. You should also provide a citation whenever you include an image or picture that you did not make or create. Essentially, if you didn't make it, think it, or do it, you should include a citation. There are two parts to a citation. The first is the in-text citation. This is the parenthetical reference or footnote you include in the text of your paper. The second part is the bibliography, works cited page, or reference list. This includes the complete information about your source. That may include the title, author, journal or website name, date of publication, and URL. Every source requires a different citation, so it's important to look at how you cite a book versus how you cite an article, podcast, or tweet. There are many different styles of citation, MLA and APA in Chicago, just to name a few. The style you use depends on your academic area of study or course needs. Each style has different rules for formatting both in-text citations and reference lists, so make sure you pay attention to the details of that citation style. Luckily, when it comes to creating citations, there are great options to help you. Purdue OWL is a website that can walk you through all the parts of creating and using citations. It even includes a style guide showing you how to build the two parts of different citations for different kinds of sources. UDC Search and most of the library databases also have built-in cite buttons. When you click that option, the tool will show you how to cite that specific source in your reference list. It won't show you how to create the in-text citation, but at least it will show you where periods go and what needs to be italicized in your reference list. Reference managers are tools that can help you collect and save sources, annotate your sources, and create your works cited pages. Essentially, they help you collect your sources and build your bibliography. Popular tools include Zotero, EndNote, Mendeley, and RefWorks. We highly recommend Zotero, not only because it is free, but because you can add it as a browser extension, which makes it easy to save sources to refer to later. Zotero also allows you to sort, annotate, and share sources if you have a group project. Since Zotero is web-based, you can access your research anywhere you have an internet connection. Citations are important because they show that you did your work and are giving credit to the original creators. Citations may seem complicated at first, but the more you work with them, the easier they are to use. If you get stuck, the library is here to help you successfully create and use citations. Visit our guide on how to cite sources to learn more. Thanks for watching.